back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So for today's video, I asked my Instagram followers to send me questions they're too afraid to ask their moms. And so I have my mom right here next to me who's going to answer those questions for you. So are you ready, mama? Yes, I am. So without wasting any more time, let's move on with the video. So uh, the first question is, what if you found out that I have a boyfriend? Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay with it. No problem. As long as he is a stable person and comes from a good family. Okay. So the next question is, what is the correct age of getting into dating? What do you think? This generation is too fast. But still, in my opinion, I would say the 18 should be good enough because after 18, I feel at least if you're meeting someone, if you're dating someone, you guys can understand each other better and, you know, you can explore. Yeah, like you have reached that kind of maturity that, you know, you understand yeah, you each other after mature 18. mature enough yeah. to, you know, decide something. The next question that one of my followers asked was, is teenage pregnancy bad? Yeah, it is bad. Who marries, first of all? In their yeah. teens. Nowadays, no one. No one. If you're not independent enough to look after yourself, then how will you look after the baby? Right? Mm -hmm. And motherhood is not just giving birth to a child. You should be independent enough. You should be uh, physically and financially and mentally be prepared. enough strong and prepared to give birth to a child and look after him and making his future also. Yeah, he's or her. <laughs> of course, he's or her. <laughs> so the next question is, will it be okay with you if I invite my boyfriend to family lunch slash dinner? Yeah, maybe I'm okay with it. He's always welcome. As long as the guy you are seeing is serious about you. Maybe <laughs> I'm so sounding little old school. It's like that. It is what it is. Yeah. Mama, so the next question for you is, how will I get to know if he's the right guy? Like the guy I'm seeing mm -hmm. is right for me. Like he is the one. How will I get to know? I will say time is a big factor. You know, it doesn't matter whom you are with, but you have to give time to relationship. Nowadays, what I'm seeing, that they are hopping from one, two, to three, to four. So you should give time to a relationship. There's nothing wrong in making friends. You will eventually get to know. Actually, when you are giving time, you are understanding each other. Eventually, you will get to know. You will realize you it yeah. on your own. Yeah. Hmm. So, the next question is, yeah. can I have a sleepover with a guy? No. Never. <laughs> Until unless it's your brothers. And after marriage, your husband. You know, you can sleep for countless nights with him. I, it will be okay with me. That's how you are. And that's how every Indian parent actually, is come on. Actually. Who, who lets their, uh, you know, girls sleep over with a guy just like that? I don't think any. No, no one. No one. I don't no. think so. Yeah. But like if you're in a group, then maybe it is possible. Like, you know, a group of friends sleeping over. That's, that's fine. That's, that's, that's different. totally different. When yeah. you are on a picnic, you're with a group, you're hanging mm -hmm. out. That's a different. That's like, different. Sleeping with a guy is totally different huh. than what you. Like this, this one guy yeah. is different, of course. <laughs> Next question is. What if I find some other guy super hot and attractive while I'm already in relationship with someone else? Okay. It's uh, quite normal to find someone hot and attractive because some people are exceptionally good looking. So, but on the other hand, what I feel if you are with someone, you will find his or her to be the most attractive person and uh, they will always be on your mind. Next question is, is sleeping with a guy before marriage a curse? It's not a curse, but I feel personally that it is ethically wrong. You feel that it's ethically yeah, wrong? Yeah, I feel it's ethically wrong. You know, there's a right time for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, Pia? So, you should take time and wait for the right person and right time. Okay, so the next question is, okay. will it be okay with you if I drop out from college? No. Not at all, because I feel that you are capable of finishing your studies. Mm. And as for other kids out there, I feel they should first finish their basic degree, you know, basic uh, studies. And then they, you can pursue your dreams in life. Okay, I'm like, not talking about any particular, you know, doc medical engineering. It should be like till the graduation, whatever, you should do your basic studies and then Going for your dreams, whatever Pursue you want your to. dreams, if you want to become an actor or anything, just finish your degree. Yeah, yeah it should be a basic mm -hmm. thing. 
Next question. Uh, Mom, can I go out with my friends at 2 a.m. to 24-7 to buy some stuff? Yeah, I don't think so. There's any problem in that. As long as I know your old friends and what you're going to buy from there. <laughs> okay, my main concern is your safety and security. That's all. Okay. So you that, That's justified, I guess. Yes. Ah. Okay, so the next question is a bit personal. Oh. How many boyfriends did you have before marriage? Do I really need to answer this question? Yeah, although you know, it's been your dad. Hmm. But you know, why children are suddenly interested in knowing their parents' past? It's none of your business. Seriously. Okay, fine. If you say so. What are your views on hookup culture? Oh my God. I just don't get this new culture of hooking up. You know, in our times, there was, there was nothing. No there was no such thing. And my Pia, you have explained it to me many times about this, you know, hooking up. But I find it totally meaningless. Meeting someone for a small time, just doing things for fun, completely meaningless, baseless. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it's very difficult for me to comment on this. Maybe this guys maybe find hooking up culture quite cool. Okay. So the next question is, uh, is being lesbian a problem no i have no problem with anyone being a lesbian but honestly speaking i have never come across anyone belonging to lgbtq community but being indian i know it's very difficult for some people to accept the fact that people from same gender people of same gender are getting, are getting attracted to each other you know but eventually i feel they'll be okay yeah, they should yeah. be. I mean, it's pretty normal. Love is love. <laughs> okay, Mama. Yes. So, the next and the last question is, oh. how to handle a breakup? Breakups are part of life. Mm. And don't take it too hard on yourself. Pick up new hobbies. Move on in life. Distract yourself. Yeah, distract yourself. And stay away from negativity. And, uh, you know, discuss it with your family. Talk to them. It helps a lot. And then there are many beautiful things in life. Look forward to and uh, it will help you. So move on. Enjoy. Life is beautiful. Life is short. Life. And you just have one life. So I hope you guys found these answers helpful. And if you really, really enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos. Till then, peace.